Hi, I'm Michael Graves with Singing From Scratch, and uh, this is part one of a three-part lesson on how to sing in time with music. Um, it, it may sound kind of strange, but it is a common problem more so than you would think. Um, some people can sing, and they can sing along, but they tend to come at the wrong time or not come in at the right time and so forth and so on. Now, we're going to go over what that time means, but um, first off, Let's uh, define the difference between um, having rhythm and singing in time, okay? So uh, approximately 96% 90 of the population has rhythm. And there's another 4% that doesn't have rhythm. That's an entirely different uh, subject. But having rhythm is, is, is one thing. Like if you're listening to a song and you can dance to it, then you can – you have rhythm. In other words, you can recognize those patterns, right? So if you're <laughs> – you can feel that, right? And if you if you could dance right now, or maybe you are, but you can feel that there's a pattern. You can have the rhythm, right? That's rhythm. Okay. Well, that's fine. You're recognizing the pattern, but that's not. Um, does that not necessarily give you the ability to um, sing in time? Okay. And um, so let's go over like. What is singing in time and what is rhythm for that matter? Okay, rhythm is simply a pattern um, through time. Now you have patterns like in a pattern in a, a quilt or a pattern of uh, you know a, of a picture, or a painting, or something. Different patterns to it, or a checker a checkerboard is a pattern. But we're talking about patterns through time, um, reoccurring, recurring um, instances of something. Okay, and there's patterns everywhere. Um, there's 365 days a year, and there's and that's one year over a certain amount of years, and you break that down into months. There's a pattern of a month, you know, one through 30 or one through 31. Um, every day is a pattern. The sun comes up, the sun comes down. It's a recurring pattern. Uh, if you're if you unless you unless you work at night, then you get up in the morning and you go to bed at night. And you get up in the morning, you go to bed, and there's a pattern to it. There's a pattern to it. There's a rhythm to it. And we all have our own. Uh, patterns, but we call them habits or we call them routines, right? I like my routine. I like to have my coffee in the morning or I like to uh, read a little bit of the newspaper. I like to watch you know, TV at night or whatever. You have a, something that you do routinely. That is a pattern because it happens through time. Every day at a specific time or around a specific time, blah, 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 blah. So patterns are in everything around us. And uh, the, 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 the sequential patterns I'm talking about through time. And that's all that music at its core really is. It's a pattern. It's different patterns put together through time. Whether that's the, the pattern that the guitar player is playing as opposed to maybe the lead player. So he's playing this pattern through time. And the guitar player, is play, the rhythm guitar player, the bass player as well is going... Here's the rhythm guitar player, the bass player, maybe he's going. While the rhythm guitar player is like. And the lead player. And the lead player. And the lead player. When you put those all together, they're different patterns, but they're within the pattern, right? Now, we'll get into that later into, um, into uh, part two and so forth, but. The one thing I want to go to first is let's break down time so we can recognize those patterns better. And when you're talking about uh, music, it's beats per minute. So our, our measurement as far as tempo, which is time from the Latin word time, uh, tempo is the time. And we base off of a minute or seconds within a minute. So 60 beats per minute would be literally a beat every second. So if you do the math on that, 60 beats per minute is 60 seconds. So it's one, two, three, four, right? Or it's close to it. So it... Or... Okay, so 120 beats per minute would be half of that, right? Um, so we're doing like this, 60. So double that. And that would be the beats per minute over time. So we got to We have to understand first that there are 
tempos, and we set a tempo to then play or sing a pattern with that tempo with our, you know, by ourselves or with others as we're singing along and so forth. Um, you can tap to, um, like this is basically, the way you can, easy way to find 120 is um, Michael Jackson's Don't Stop Till You Get Enough, right? Right? Keep on with the post on. Don't stop till you get enough. Keep on with the post on. Right? One, two, one, two. That would be a second. So half of that. So you, you feel that? So, and it's also Don't Stop Believing and I Will Survive, you know. Um, those are other songs that are 120 beats per minute. And you can, the easy way to find a, a beats per minute of a song you're trying to sing is watch a second hand or watch a, a stopwatch on your phone or iPhone or whatever and see that it's, you know, okay, it's just slightly faster than uh, 120 or slightly faster than, you know, that, so forth. You can figure it's 130 beats per minute or it's 110 beats per minute. But beats per minute is simply where we're going to get our tempo from. And uh, that's all we're going to cover in part one of how to sing in time with music.